welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. Don't forget to follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I actually got this workout suggestion from a little poll I did over there on Instagram. So if you want your say, follow me over there. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to do a kettlebell workout today. I'm going to throw in some active rest. I'll use my skipping rope if you don't have one. Feel free to do high knees or butt kicks or whatever cardio you enjoy. All right, so I'm gonna use my 15 pound kettlebell. That's all I have, so that's what I'm using for each exercise. You could also sub a dumbbell if you don't have a kettlebell. Your format will be 40 seconds of work with only 10 seconds in between, and I'll start you with the warm up and end with a cool down. All right, let's do this and move daily. Setting my watch to high intensity intervals this morning. All right, let's just take it wide, feet shoulder width apart rather, and a little squat reach. Yes, it's been a while since I've done a kettlebell workout. Uh, you know, it would be good to have two of the same weight because there's so many exercises you can do with both. It's kind of a, uh, yeah, it's a shame that I don't have another one, but that's all right. Once we have dumbbells and kettlebells available in the stores again, one year, <laughs> I think we're all gonna buy them all up again. It's gonna be a while since they, you know, until they can replenish the stock, I think. It's good that so many people are working out. All right, stay wide, touch your toes, right there. more here. Good, stay high. We're just doing a little torso twist here. All right, let's reach across. And up and over, a little dip in the legs there. All right, take it side to side. Okay, I'm gonna drop my opposite shoulder down and give my lower back and hamstring a little stretch, inner thigh. That's it, nice rock side to side. One more here. And I'm gonna walk my feet in a little closer, put my hands on my feet, and just open up into the inner thigh a little bit here, into the groin. Okay, stretch that out, side to side. And I'm gonna sit down and squat for eight reps here. Now two, keeping my hands on my feet. You need to let them slide up your shins, do it. I've got two more here. Seven, oh, it feels good on the hamstrings. And eight, round up through the back. Little shoulder roll here. Okay, I'm gonna just tap it out. Rolling shoulders back, bringing them up near my ears. In three, two, switch directions here now. And up and around. All right, now full circles, here we go, and up. And switch directions. All right, very good. Let's get started. Grab your kettlebell, grab your rope, or you're gonna do that high knees, and we're starting with 40 seconds on the clock. So we're gonna start holding the kettlebell with both hands. You're gonna deadlift here into a single hand reverse lunge. All right, stick your chest out. You're gonna stay on the same side until I call half. So stay with me here, we'll burn it out a bit. Come out to the side, dead lift, hop, reverse lunge. All 
All right, go ahead and switch your sides. Here, reverse, this side, good. Dead lift. Last here. All right, taking it into a plie. Super wide, low high pull, and stand. Here we go, drop, reach, and stand, low. Try to get those knees down to 90 degrees on the side, so a nice low drop and drive. prisoner squat. Press at the top, then prisoner down, press at the bottom, then stand. Here we go. I'll call half again. So it's down, down, press, up, up, press. Now if you can't do the prisoner part, just hit a squat press, that's fine. Switch sides. Seconds again, you can do high knees, butt kicks, any cardio you like. Here we go. Press. 
the terms. Core is tight, press straight to the ceiling. Round three, deadlift. Reverse. Switch hands and legs. over and dry. Water break, that's a good two coming up. Starting with your kettlebell floor touch swing. Feet are wider than shoulder width. Start right here, super flat back. Start with your swing. Here we go. So you're here, pop, back, touch. Here, pop, back, touch. See how my face is staying up, my chin is up. My back is super flat. Six 
swing and touch. do a goblet squat with a low bicep curl at the bottom. Take your shoulder width. So you squat, curl, stand. Squat, curl, stand. As I'm descending, I let that kettlebell go, okay? Boom, up 10 seconds. Boom. And up. All right, get into a stationary lunge. I'm gonna switch my kettlebell just like this, hold. I'm gonna diagonal drive press. So a little oblique crunch. So you're here and here, low. Here. I'll hold half on that direction and legs. Crunching obliques here. Last here. Switch legs and sides. Drop. Press. Okay, I took a lot of balance. Let's go to skipping. Work my knees or butt kicks. Here we go, I'm jacking my legs. In and out. Back to your top, floor touch, KB swing, wide stance, here, hop, back, touch. Curl. Your shoulder width. Here we go. Curl and stand. As you descend. Good. that diagonal. Lunge, twist, stationary lunge. Here we go, low, drive, same side. So 
Switch legs and hands. Okay, here, I'm gonna jack front kick this time. lunge one. Let's stay on each side for 40 seconds, okay? Make it feel like work. You can slow your pace down then. Focus on that twist at the top. Press. Stay on this side. Stay here with me. You got 20 more seconds here. Don't arch your back. That was better, eh? More challenging. Switch legs. Turn the other way. Here we go.
Okay, what if you need? Join for circuit three. Starting with the feet together, swing into a reverse lunge, okay? So my opposite hand and leg are doing the work. Here we go. So swing up, reverse up. Hinge up, reverse up. Hinge, watch that side of your leg. Kettlebell swinging each time. Boom, boom, 40 seconds aside here. We gotta get the most benefit, okay? Stay with me. Hinge up, down. That one glute. The stationary glutes feel in this. That's good. Boom, boom. And good. Okay. I'll do this one from the side just so you can see the movement. Opposite leg lunges back from the hand you're holding. Here we go. Hinge up, reverse up. Hinge up, reverse. Boom, boom, here. Very good. Take it down to the ground. Variable service push up. One hand is on your kettlebell. One on the ground, mod from the knees. I'll call half. Here we go. Switch your sides. side row. So burpee out, wide, single row, switch sides. Here we go. Hinge up, switch sides. Hinge up.
is really fun. I like it. Switch sides. Good. Okay, variable surface. Hit it. <clears throat> Up a half. Switch sides. So shuffle side to side, I'm doing. Here we go. I was. Okay, 
Okay, push up. Little quads. Feel on this. Push up. Switch sides. circuit for you. You're starting on the ground in a leg open position. We're going to do shoulder presses here, super tall. I'll call halfway, okay? So concentrate and press. This is challenging because nothing else is working. You don't have any help from lower body. You just got to engage the core, press the shoulder. What oh, it's work, isn't it? One more here, switch sides, let's go, and work. I'm gonna stay down here, go right into a partial Turkish, partial, okay, so don't fret. I know not everyone loves the Turkish get up, though I don't know why, it's a good one. So, as soon as this is done, I'm switching hands again, lying on my back, okay. So, whatever hand you have it in, that's the leg that's straight. We're just gonna sit up and press to the ceiling. So your up hand is behind, push, lie down. Up, push the hips, lie down. Last one on this side. All right, switch your sides and work. Okay, stand up. You're gonna do a high knee halo. So I'm gonna hold the kettlebell here. I'm gonna high knee halo, high knee halo. Boom. Watch your chiclets. Here, up, here. Final shoulder burn in this circuit. If you don't have the rotation in your shoulders, just do this, okay? Good. Skip. 
I'm gonna jack again, right here. Here we go. Rolling the shoulders, don't you? All my shoulders are gonna be sore after this, I can tell. Tomorrow. Last year. Okay, skip. down here. If you're more than that, good for you. It's hard. Switch sides. Try not to touch the ground behind you.
Take core. Up and hip. Switch sides. Very good. All right. Halo. High knee. Oh, shoulders. Keep your core tight. You don't want to arch your back here. Squeeze my abs right there. Fifteen seconds. Let's walk. Come on. Boom. Last here. All right. Last skip and you're done. Done well, everyone. Woo. Okay, last high knees. Give me everything you got. Leave it on the mat. Here we go. And one and done. You move daily in your kettlebell cardio workout. Thanks for joining. Enjoy for a stretch if you can. Let's just start stretching. Put your arm on the back of a wall or your chair or couch or something. Just going to open up into that chest. That was a lot of front shoulder. Um, so I just want to stretch those shoulders out a bit. Yowza. I'm actually, it's about an hour after the workout that now I'm stretching. I stopped the workout, went for a walk because my girlfriend had a text. And uh, so then I'm like, I forgot to do the stretch. So now I'm all post walk, post workout, all dusty. <laughs> this is very dusty outside from our, from our walk. Let's round through the back here. Okay, try to separate those shoulder blades a bit. A little side to side, nice and gentle stretch there. Excellent. Oh. And let's hinge forward here, reach up toward the ceiling, push your thumb up there so you get a little bit of bicep stretch in. Good. Yeah, I do, uh, it was 11 above here today. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I think I wanna say like 50s or maybe something, somewhere around there, maybe low 60, no. Anyway, it was lovely. And so we just, she's like, hey, let's go for a walk in the afternoon. So I just am like, okay, I'm heading out. That is a great idea. Do you add a lot of that non-exercise activity thermogenesis in? Non-exercise -ex activity? So things like walking, stretch your chest here, gardening, um, you know, biking, shoveling snow, like all of those things, extra activity that you can do increases your body's ability to use the energy that you feed it through food and burn it up and use that as fuel. Let's do a little tri stretch here. Reach and stretch the torso here as well. The more you do, obviously, the more calories you burn. And it's beneficial not only for your calorie output, switch sides, but also for a reduction in stress and cortisol, the stress hormone. So I, I am a huge advocate of walking. I think it's incredibly beneficial for so, so many different health reasons. Uh, that I just I just tell people, you know, as often as you can, get outside and walk. 
And it's one of those things that instantaneously can let the body know that it's springtime because you're increasing circulation, which decreases inflammation, disease, and decay. But you've got to, you've got to commit to it on a regular basis and say, you know what? This is who I am. People like us do things like this. We move daily, uh, not only in our nutrition and our wellness, but in our fitness, and we do things that serve our body and honor our body. And I think walking is a good way to do that. I'm just gonna do a little quad stretch here. Knees are together, try to push the hip forward. That's it. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be sore tonight. I can feel it. I walked, big hill hike there. We did that kettlebell workout. I had a good workout yesterday. I think I'm, I'm looking forward to an Epsom salt bath tonight <laughs> so I can do it all again next week. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining. I hope you have a great day. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.